Hey everyone, we want to talk in this video about how to speak hypnotically anytime, anywhere. anywhere. Right. So this video is all about using hypnosis in your daily life and you accomplish this by learning to speak hypnotically. So keep watching if you're curious about hypnosis, already doing hypnosis, or just want to incorporate hypnotic language into what you're doing. So Mike. So Mike, let's start. Uh, you can open the, the door to this conversation. We've got to go through pacing and leading and a bunch of other awesome stuff. Okay, well, pacing and leading means you're, you're meeting your client, your hypnotic subject, where they are. So you're modeling them to a degree. If they're sitting slumped, mm -hmm. you might want to slump a bit. If they're saying a specific word or doing a gesture repeatedly, you gently pick up on that and mm -hmm. add it to the conversation. You build this psychodynamic loop of rapport with them and their guard begins to relax a little bit, at which point you can now lead them into trance because they are beginning to become fixated upon you. You have actually added a little bonus material in yes, that we I weren't have. intending to even do in this, but it does make sense because you were talking about pacing and leading from a body language, body positioning, breathing, that kind of stuff. And then the we have the verbal component. So let's let's move into the verbal piece of pacing and leading. The verbal piece basically is twofold. You're, you're going to look at the pace and the mm -hmm. tone. So if they're talking really quick like this, you don't want to be really laid back and kinesthetic. You want to lead kill you. them down there eventually. Lead them yeah. there eventually, but you want to talk a little faster if they're talking quicker. If their tone is kind of high like this, you don't want to be going mm -hmm. down into the basement unless you're Barry White, which is okay. So you want to match the tone and the, the rate which the, in which they're speaking, but you also want to pick up on key words they're using. So if they're saying something over and over, and that's how the problem started. That's how, You can offer back those words. And By say, pacing that, and right? And say, that's how the problem started. And not as you say it. And you're now emphasizing the mm -hmm. psychodynamic loop between the two of you. Okay, so we can pace, let's say in regular conversation, someone's talking about a difficulty with a colleague or something like that. And that difficulty, you can pace the phrase difficulty. But now in hypnosis as well, if let's maybe differentiate between conversationally using this in everyday life and how a hypnotherapist would be dealing with a client in their chair in the office. The differences in pacing and leading, because I want to make sure people come away from this video and understand verbal pacing, like, and you can hear that we're talking right now and you can see us on camera and you can be aware of just how bright the scene is and, and keep watching yeah, or, yeah. Or, and keep watching because we've got awesome stuff for you. And that's three pacing statements right? and a leading and one statement. leading mm -hmm. statement. When you do say three or four in a row, the person begins to build this psychodynamic loop. And then mm -hmm. when you add something outside that, they'll tend to follow that. So in a, in a classical hypnosis session, you might be saying something like, and you can feel the chair underneath you and be aware of the temperature mm -hmm. of the room. And you're listening to my voice and you can simply begin to relax deeper now. Right. And they will now follow that because you're pacing, 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 and then you lead. And if you're doing this, let's say it's someone giving a, a keynote presentation to an audience and it's not formatted, uh, it's not, I should say, presented as a hypnotic conversation, but you can speak hypnotically, right? And we're all here together right now, and we all have a common goal. I mean, politicians do this with nonsense speak all the time, but if you speak in a way that you have rapport and you resonate with what people want, and they're internally going, yes, yes, yes I agree, yes, yes and then you make true. your suggestion, and then you give your call to action, which can be your leading statement. If it's formal hypnosis, it's and let yourself sink even deeper. If it's conversational hypnosis, what else, What other leading statements might someone make? Well, conversationally, mm -hmm. it can be pretty well anything based on what you're already mm -hmm. talking about. So and you can discover that there are solutions to this problem that you hadn't thought of before. That could be a leading sure. statement, right? It could be as simple as thinking back to all the other things you've solved in the past. You might find an application mm -hmm. today. All of these things are leading people gently and easily into resolution of whatever they're putting on the table. Okay, so we're going to we're going to now move into what we call newbie language really quickly. We're going to explain linkages and how to craft what's called a never-ending sentence, then we'll do a little bit of demo on it. So before we do any never-ending sentence stuff, let's talk about the difference between pacing and leading what I like to call the real world. Like you can notice that you're Whatever standing. Whatever that is. Yeah. yeah, you can notice the feeling of your feet on the floor. If I'm standing like we are right now, I can notice that. I can become aware of the fabric covering my body. And I can notice my fingertips shirt. are touching All these together. are real world things. <laughs> right. But NUVI things, NUVI stands for Nominalization Unspecified Verb Integration, or we used to call it induction, but integration. So nominalizations are things that you can paste to, right? A nominalization is... 
a nominalization is a noun, just the way building mm -hmm. or tree or computer is a noun, but it's a noun that has no physical form. In mm -hmm. other words, we say you can't put it in a wheelbarrow. Things like understanding, things excitement, like excitement, empowerment, love, depression, connection, skill. There's <laughs> all not, these are all nominalizations. So you can pace a nominalization if someone says that problem. Well, problem isn't a thing you can put in a wheelbarrow, is it? No, it's and a nominalization. That, and that problem has been something that's been holding you back all this time. And it's a simple thing to consider all of the different ways that other people have already solved and grown. So we're just using nominalizations now to do pacing and leading. What's right. an unspecified verb? An unspecified verb is something happens, but you don't say how it happens. Uh, if I tell you, you're going to learn by reading a book or you're going to learn by watching a video, that's very, very specific. Mm -hmm. But if I say and you can begin to really learn, mm -hmm. I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm just telling you it's something you can begin to do. It right. might mean a conversation with another person or whatever. So walk would not be an unspecified verb because everyone pretty much understands. But travel walking. would be. Travel or move or relocate. These are all. Relocate. Wow. Yeah. Transform. So we can. Relocation get, then mm -hmm. becomes a nominalization. Yes. So what you can start to do is, these are basically all examples of using artfully vague language, which is probably fundamental number one of Ericksonian Right. So when analysis. you're using nominalizations mm -hmm. and unspecified verbs, here's the genius of this. And this goes right back to Milton Erickson. Your client, subject, person mm -hmm. you're talking to has to go inside and begin to attach meaning to these nonspecific verbs and meaning to these nominalizations. Because if I use a nominalization like empowerment, that'll mean a different thing to both of us. It'll mean a different thing to you and anybody who's listening Yeah, based on our own personal history, our life experiences, and our beliefs. Okay, that makes perfect sense. So now let's do a little demonstration on what, an, let's explain what a never-ending sentence is because we do have a bit of a challenge for you here, which is see if you can construct your own, what we call a never-ending sentence with people when you have rapport and see how long you can go before they interrupt you. And watch them closely because mm -hmm. they'll drift into trance. All right, so what's it like? It's a very simple thing, mm -hmm. Chris, because they start to talk and you're not bringing any kind of resolution as you're speaking to them. You're just continuing to speak and connecting segments of your language to the next segment using a word like and, which then enables you to not only determine the cause and effect nature of language itself, mm -hmm. but drags the other person into your representation in such a way that they will respond perfectly. And as they do, they can just slip into a trance or make the necessary changes and continue to transform and live a wonderful life that you've helped them build with your awesome hypnotic skills. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so there, there's, we're just making this up as we go, not aiming at anything specifically, but that's generally the idea of hypnotic language. So hypnotic language, really awesome skill. We do have, um, for our MMHA members, we have these cards, which are awesome, which teach you patterns that you can slot into the structure of a never-ending sentence. It's a fun exercise to use. You'll use this with your clients or you can use portions of this in everyday conversation. Uh, yeah, you can use it if you're a professional speaker as I was for many, many years right. with an audience. You can use it just in conversation, as Chris said. Now, we didn't even introduce ourselves. In yeah. We didn't introduce ourselves yet. I am Chris Thompson. I'm Mike Mandel. We run Mike Mandel Hypnosis and the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. And I say that because if you're interested in learning more about this, there are more tools that you can use. You can tell hypnotic stories. You can get into much more direct suggestion, formal hypnosis. And we'd love to invite you to join the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. Academy. If you should be so interested to learn more about this topic, you can start for free. You'll find a link in the description. How much did you say, Chris? Oh, you can start for free. free. Totally for free. You can get started. We no don't obligation. Give you, it's a, we don't give you the whole course for free, obviously. But yes, you can start for free. So check out the link in the description. If you like this sort of stuff, I think you'll really love the Mike Mandel Hypnosis That's Academy. Right. Thanks again. And good night. <laughs>